Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope everybody's having a blessed day today. Well, it's church day. Well, every day's church day for me, but this Sunday. You know, it's kind of a gloomy day here today. We had a really bad storm that came through yesterday. And so I lost power maybe about 30, 45 minutes. But it was long enough to make this house hot. <coughs> Gary! See that look? He likes to scratch his butt right there. Anyway, I went to bed, and I didn't sleep very well last night up peeing, off and on. I guess from all the spiked tea I drank yesterday. Green tea, to be exact. Uh, peach flavor, I think. Um, but I didn't get drunk as normal. Um, but I woke up this morning with a dream up on my mind. And from last night. And as I went to journal the dream, it came to me what it, meant, what, what it was supposed to mean. It's my desire to be loved, wanted, powerful, respected, desired, all the things associated with it. Not that I want to be rich or famous or anything like that, but it shows the void in my life. And how I just want to be loved, how I just want to be touched, how I just want to feel affection again, how I just want the basic needs of being a human being, God's creation. So that kind of weighed heavy on me this morning and I got up and I cooked breakfast and I made another version of eggs in a basket. I took and I cooked some hash browns, divided it up, put it into my cupcake muffin pan that cracked an egg and I threw it in the oven and let it cook and it was good but it really wasn't what I wanted but I ate two and then I gave two to the dogs because it was a lot of food and that sort of thing but then I just came back in from Waco I'd run in and go get some coils for my vape because mine burn out this morning I'm great but now I'm getting ready to watch the word of God this morning and expecting a message from him on his day but what I found interesting is every Sunday I go through a bad day Sundays are bad days sometimes past three more specifically but see that's typically because I have to go to work tomorrow well I don't have to tomorrow I'm off tomorrow and Tuesday and I think that's just kind of God's way of saying you need to get rest because you have to go to work tomorrow but in this case I don't but what's lingering over my head is coming up on the fourth and I've talked about this and it kind of goes in line with the dream that I had last night. The loneliness that I face each and every day. The, the want and the desire and me self-medicating. Because it's what I know to do. I shouldn't have to, but I do. But it's interesting how with as much word and promise that God gives me about breakthroughs and things like that, that's, this is the one area of my life I don't have inspiration for. This is the one area in my life where there is a literal void. Yes, I have my Jesus. Yes, I have my God. Yes, I have the power of the Holy Spirit. But I don't have a companion. I don't have human love in my life. I don't have waking up in the morning next to someone 
or coming home and cooking dinner with that someone or sitting down on the couch and cuddling and watching a movie together or another man of faith that shares my ideals or beliefs. I'm not even sure that there's one out there like me. That loves other men but has such a fire in his soul for Jesus. And that weighs heavy on me. Because I go to work sweat, hurt to come home to an empty house. Cook myself dinner, have to clean the house by myself, have to do the dishes by myself, have to take the yard by myself, which I was going to mow the grass today, but because of the storm and it rained off and on apparently all night long, it's, I can't mow. I have to mow tomorrow. But just the things about having a partner, a companion, someone to spend my life with. If you would have asked me five years ago if I was going to be in this position, I would have, I would have not known. I would have had no idea. But you know, everything has a purpose and a reason with God. Everything. And I have to trust him. I don't have a choice in the matter. I'm not going to get on grile or ground or, or scruff and settle. Yes, I should be proactive. At least trying to date something. Meeting people. Because God's a proactive God. And how many times have I said to myself, you can't just keep waiting on God. You've got to get up and do something about it. And allow God to lead your footsteps. But there's a part of me that doesn't want to step out of his will. Actually, a majority of me that does not want to do anything that God Won't or hasn't blessed, I guess. But I know I'm not alone in this matter. We're all looking for somebody. We're all looking for the right one, I guess, gay or straight. And I know there's not the right one or the perfect one out there. But I think my biggest takeaway is I wasted time with Michael. Precious time. How my life would have been better if I would have never have married him. But too late now, what's done is done. Now all, all I have to do is figure out how to move on with my life and do the things I need to do for my happiness and allow God to be there with me. So, hope everybody has a wonderful and blessed day today. And I'm sure y'all will see me more. Y'all be blessed.